When you're self-employed, it can be easy to get into overwhelm. There are so many strategies you can try. There are so many courses you could take. There's so much to keep up with. So here is a strategy that I use all the time to deal with overwhelm. I use it so often that I forget to teach it because it's so natural for me. So now I want to share this with you. The idea is to apply a temporary constraint to whatever you're overwhelmed by. So I'll give you a couple examples. Let's say you are taking an online course and this is something I hear from some of my students. Gosh, George, you give so much in your online course that sometimes I feel overwhelmed. Okay, well, here's how you might deal with that. If you say, you could just apply a temperature, you could say, if I could only find three things in this online course that I would go and apply, what would those three things be? And by asking that question, you, you train your brain to start looking for those three things as you take the course and you, as you go through the course, ah, there's that one, there's one thing I want to apply. And then you keep going, oh yeah, here's a second one. Oh, and then you keep going, there's a third one. Now you might have more things, but you say, okay, what are the three things I'm most interested in applying uh, in the short term from this online course? Now let's talk about a long to-do list. Let's say that you are dealing with a long to-do list and then you could apply a temporary constraint to say, if, if I could just get three things done on the to-do list, what must those three things be? If I could only pick three things out of the to-do list to work on today, what must those, those three things be? I say that's a simple way to get rid of overwhelm. Like, okay, these are three things. Yes, I can do three things. Now, let's say you've got one thing task in front of you and it feels overwhelming to you. How do you apply a temporary constraint to this one overwhelming task? Here's how. Overwhelming task, you feel overwhelmed, my God, how, how do I possibly make progress on that? Then you ask yourself, what would three doable steps be for me right now on this project? What, what, what might three doable steps be? And you write that down. So you can apply a temporary constraint to anything big or anything small. Another example is if you're feeling like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing today, okay? Then you apply a temporary constraint to say, okay, I'm going to work for 25 minutes. I'm going to work for 25 minutes. I'm overwhelmed, but I'm going to work for 25 minutes right now. So that's very doable. It's a temporary constraint. And in those 25 minutes, what's one thing I can make progress on? Just one thing. Because I know if I make progress on it, at least I'm doing something rather than sitting back and feeling overwhelmed and therefore surfing Instagram or YouTube or whatever, Facebook, you know, to, to deal with my overwhelm. I'm just going on social media and learning more things. But that's just filling your brain with lots of things. What you need to do instead is to get to work and to say, 25 minutes, one thing. And if I finish that one thing, I can find another thing. Or in that one thing is too overwhelming, what are three small steps I could take? towards that one thing. That's it. So I do this all the time and I just forget that it's so natural for me that, that not everyone does it. So I hope you'll make this natural for you too so that you can just keep moving throughout your day and you're just continuing to, to accomplish things and make progress because in always in a calm way, no more overwhelm. I don't feel overwhelmed at all because every time I s overwhelm come, I have an overwhelm, overwhelm happens. I have an instant reaction to say, oh yeah, apply a temporary constraint. What would three things be or what would one thing be? So I hope that this is helpful and um, I really look forward to hearing how you do with this. And uh, I want to thank um, Prana Boost for joining me and Nurtured Heart as well here on Instagram Live. And so go forward, give this a try and um, let me know how it goes. If you have anything that you're stuck with and overwhelmed by that you're not quite sure how to apply a temporary constraint to, please comment below and let's work on that. All right? Okay. I wish you a good rest of the day and try the temporary constraint strategy to anything. And I'll just, one more thing I'll have to say. You can apply this to something really, really big too. Like life purpose, you know, let's, let's pretend we're, oh, life purpose, so overwhelming. How do I apply a temporary constraint to that? Here's how. If my life purpose were only about one thing, what might that one thing be? And you write that down. Okay, if my life purpose were about one thing, what... For me, it would be like, my life purpose is about bringing purpose 
bring bringing love and spirituality into business. Okay. But then I think of other things. Oh, but, but, but could also be about this. That's fine. It just kind of gets you unstuck in brainstorming ideas. And then now when you're working on any one purpose or any one project, now you can say, okay, now I'm just working on one thing. What are the small steps I can take? Let's apply that temporary constraint. A temporary constraint, that's the idea. That it's temporary. The constraint is not forever. It's just you applying a tool to help you focus for the time being and to help you get some momentum going. All right, I hope this helps. And um, thank you, Taz, also for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Take care.